Welcome back, Matthew Lightbulb, to another review of So I'm Spider. So what? So we are already seven episodes in, and I do gotta say that this anime is just awesome. And yeah, I actually did care about the human characters this time around. They're growing on me, right? Slowly but surely. Um, I am not saying okay, we should see them all the time or all that stuff, right? But I, I just think. You know, it's good to see them more often than not, just because. So, I'm going to talk about what happened in this episode, obviously. What I liked. Um, I like that Kumoko, right, realized, like, okay, this is real life. Like, this is my life now and all this stuff. This is not a video game. But then she also realizes, wait, somebody might be controlling us. Like, somebody... Is controlling these skills and whoever that is it's a god right basically right because if you in control of these skills you're adding new skills and all this stuff because kumoko is complaining oh my appraisal skill reached level 10 and all this stuff and i didn't get an extra bonus or anything like that and then she gets the wisdom <laughs> bonus out of nowhere because the administrator d allowed it and that administrator is basically probably a god of this world or maybe there's different many administrators and they're just gods in, in the eyes of kumoko and everybody else and that's why oka was talking about hey go max out your skills and all this stuff uh relax on the skill um you know increasing your stats a little bit too fast and i think the reason for that is because whoever's in control of this game yeah like these skills there's taboos in the skills there's certain skills that you might gain that might go against, for example, uh, the religion. I forgot that girl, that the name of that girl. I think it's like, sh I forgot her name, the one that's always preaching about the church and stuff. Yeah, her people, her followers, if they find out you have that, some taboo skills, you're probably gonna get hunted down and beheaded or something. Which I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, that would not be good, right? So, Shalane, uh, in this episode was fighting against Hugo and Hugo is like one of the biggest crybabies I've ever seen in anime in, in terms of oh if I can't have it my way then screw everything or whatever this dude is crying over everything so much so that they literally go on a trip right it's, it's a test to fight against weak monsters in the mountains so they could get used to monsters and collect me medicinal medicinal herbs and things like that to learn the terrain the area and stuff like that what are herbs right which is a good um trip it's a good test right and this dude hugo and his little goons his cronies go around tying people up injuring them and stuff because hugo is like oh i'm, I'm gonna be king someday all this stuff and he's such a spoiled brat that he he just hates the attention slain is getting to the point where he fights lane He's stronger than Slane right now just because we actually get a big revelation that Slane, he hasn't been using his skill points. He's still got a bunch of skill points and that is the only reason that Hugo is stronger than him right now because Hugo probably spent some time training, got a bunch of different skills like uh, I think it was like uh, poison resistance. Or, like He had a, a emperor skill. He had a lot of different skills, right? Um, Nabinor has been leaving great comments with all the skills of like Kumoko, every time I ask, hey, Nabinor, you do me the favor, can you put the, I know it showed up in the episode, but can you put me the skills of um, Hugo in the comment section below? That would be really awesome. Do not put Oka's skill in the comments, though, That's because that's a big spoiler, because Oka in this episode, right, is a teacher, and she's an elf, and she's like, she's the one that found all these students, and the, there were, she said there was seven reincarnations that, were missing four of them died i don't know how they probably were monsters most likely four of them died so three remain and then we got in the ending of this episode talking to hugo talking about hey you want my help in another reincarnation so there's two left right and oka said it's a secret with the three so i guess there's only two left uh being kumoko and somebody else so we'll see what happens or maybe the person that went to hugo that girl that went to hugo was not really a reincarnation Maybe she's a demon because Hugo's like, I don't even care if you're a demon. I just I just want to get my revenge because um, if you ever watch Avatar, the original Avatar, Oka was on her aim. She literally took all the skills away from Hugo. I don't know what skill allows that, 
but she literally did that. And she got to be really strong because Hugo was very strong. Level 30, I think, yeah, level 30 or whatever when he fought against Swain with all these skills, right? Probably some of them were maxed out. And she still would just win magic and beat him down like it was nothing, right? And then the test ended. So I really did like the growth of the characters in this episode. It was really good. I definitely kept me invested. I wanted to go in the series myself and just say like uh Hugo with a fire not a fire spell, he uses fire magic. Let's say water spell or something. This dude is like so annoying, right? Um I have a bad lingering feeling that something bad is gonna happen to Faye. She's strong, right? But she does have the taboo skill. I have a feeling that church girl is gonna figure it out or something and then she, all you're gonna see is like a bunch of members of that church just try to hunt down Faye. Uh, you know, like Frankenstein or something like that. I, I do have that, that lingering feeling that's going to happen. Somebody in last week's review actually did tell me that, um, they told me that there only could be one Demon Lord, that Komoko does not have the Demon Lord title. I know she does not have the Demon Lord title. In my review, last week's review, I said she probably could get that title in the future, but no, she can't. There could only be one Demon Lord at a time. And I have a feeling, okay, let's say the, the girl that, appear to Hugo was not really a reincarnation say she was a demon acting for the demon lore so I have a feeling so the reincarnations that are left are Kumoko the three left Kumoko maybe the demon lord and then somebody else that that's what I'm assuming I just have this lingering feeling that girl is not a reincarnation Kumoko in this episode got a bunch of skills maxed out which um in the comment section again Navnor if you don't mind uh, let me know what skill she got maxed out. From what I remember, it's, it was the appraisal skill, the detection skill, and I think there was um, one more. And with the appraisal skill max, I think that was it was that one. Or it was one of them where she gained the extra skill wisdom because the administrator, I guess, heard her complain and boom, gave the skill. And it was really cute, creepy seeing that TV and then that smile. So never know, like Kumoko and everybody else. Could have been teleported to a video game or reincarnated into a video game that there's just a dude or girl out there that just controls the skills right and doesn't control their actions but controls the skills and might control like things like monsters popping up or something like that so i definitely cannot wait um to see what the future holds for the series because we did get to see that the spider the vestige spider in last week's episode and I have a feeling Komoko is going to become even stronger than that Vestige Spider. And yeah, I cannot wait to see what happens. Oka, or I think her name's Oka or Oka, uh, because I'm looking at the characters and they literally don't. I don't know why they didn't put her name there. They didn't even put the teacher as like one of the main characters, but yeah. Um, because she's probably gonna look for the three remaining students, but she says she can't right now. So there's some restrictions I know why Komoko Komoko is probably in a very dangerous area in that cave So she probably is like I'm, I don't feel like going over there and then the two others um, It's probably different things overall. I'm gonna give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review and if you did have a great day. Peace